your hands. Hallelujah. Kurasha. Kenchela Kenzo. Kuchitan. Tiso. Kutanji. Listen. Yes, Lord. Father, to Songolasi. Tishiga. Itu. Vanzili Sukuti Shikandere. Manda Kosokote. Vafri Shikutu Sungulanduch. Ayas Tene. Matseka Achi Tu. Atesa. Akala Chete. Take your seats. Kabal Shahando. Take your seats, take your seats, take your seats. Kutchele soko unjele sangalo shene. Vasa soko randelesi. Vasta in jele stan do kucheta. Yes, Lord. Senene monchin do la sondo. Vabro sukuti sukutindela sayataya. Panjele saka baya kati. A prophetic word. The Lord says, now I'm going to begin to bless my own elect with wealth and treasures that you've not seen. The Lord says, my sons, my daughters who are faithful, who have stood with me and paid the price and walked in my purposes for long. God says, now the suffering and the long suffering shall come to an end. For surely this is the day and the hour now, says the Spirit of the Lord. When I'm going to begin to bless my own servants with wealth and treasures beyond even what you asked or thought. As I said through Paul in Ephesians 3.20, as I said through Paul again in 1 Corinthians 2.9, you're going to begin to see, as I said, treasures through Isaiah and Isaiah 45. And I told you that you're going to see the wealth even of nations coming to thee, the wealth of kings and treasures from all kinds of places, Isaiah 60. The Lord says, I'm going to teach you how to be quick now. Amos 9:13. Acceleration is coming, and you're going to begin to see the favor, the silver and the gold that is mine, as I said in Haggai 2. And as I said, the treasures in 1 Chronicles 29 and 2 Chronicles 31 and 32, the Lord says these days are going to come to pass in the lives of a few, not many, my own chosen vessels. For what? For the work to expand around the globe now. Everybody lift your hands. This is a word in code, a word in secret, maybe not for everybody, but it certainly is for us. And we're going to begin to see favor. Kings will come to the brightness of our rising. New things, new territories, new nations, new, 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 everything new. The Lord says, would I leave you in a season of despair? No. Did I test you in the wilderness? Yes. Did I prove to see that your heart was mine? Yes, I did. But the Lord says, now is the time of elevation and promotion. And you're going to begin to see my favor in ways you've not seen. Oh, my God. It's going to be so vast. From around the planet, resources and things and favor and friends and help and lovers of, of the vision and favor of great, great ones, of the influencers are coming to thee. Don't you know, the Lord says, that it's about to happen quickly, even in a twinkling of an eye. And the Lord says, it won't be long now. It's going to happen just on the wings of the wind in the coming few days. Uh, the things that I spoke to you about that were held back uh, the lord says this is now going to be the day when they're going to begin to come forth and sometimes when you least expect it comes that suddenly moment when it's just suddenly like the spirit of the lord came into the upper room suddenly the spirit of god they were waiting there they didn't know how it was going to happen but all of a sudden boom here it came and god showed up god said am i not your father Am I not your friend? Am I not your lover? Was I the friend of Abraham? Was I the lover of David? Was I the honorer? Of David? Yes. Would I, would I leave you without comfort, without help? I cannot do it. The Lord says now is going to be the day of proof. Proof. Tangible proof. 
people looked at you and said wow look at you I know I see you and then yeah okay but when they see you stacked with treasures even above what you can count they'll begin to fall down on their faces and say surely this is your servant Lord that day has come to be fulfilled now in this time the Lord says get ready for it now get ready for it now this thing of poverty this thing of lack this thing of despair this thing of suffering God says no 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 that was not my position for you ever but sure enough now the few of my chosen elect are going to be elevated in this day in greater ways than we've ever seen the Lord says that day has come to you now it's really here father thank you for this we receive your word lift your hands if you can receive but for myself standing here under the anointing it's real if you can catch it catch it you know oral roberts said something so powerful when asked by my dear friend dr mike murdoch who i've been friends with for 30 it'll be 34 years in december 34 years my dear beloved friend dr mike murdoch the wisdom doctor the brilliant apostle he said to oral roberts can you tell me a secret some secrets of your your journey oral roberts told him two things three things he said number one sow a seed for a desired harvest number number two he said Miracles are coming toward you. This is what I want to focus on here. Miracles are coming toward you and passing you by every day if you can't reach out and grab them. And number three, he said, speak in tongues and then get the interpretation of what God is saying. These were secret treasures that were unlocked by a question by a brilliant man of God. When you see somebody great, don't leave them sitting there smiling. And be quiet, ask questions, pull on the wisdom. Lift your hands, lift your hands. The answers are there if you'll ask the question. Let me tell you, uh, uh, an answer and a solution is always a servant to an asked question. An asked question will always demand an answer. And brilliant people, even high level people, they love to be asked questions. You know, if you walked up to the, the billionaire moguls of the world, if you met Warren Buffett or Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos or Warren Buffett or, or, or Elon Musk and you ask them a question, if you come up to try to tell them something, they might be, hey, the bodyguards might get you if they have them. But if you ask a sincere question, they'll stop and say, hmm, you know what? Because they know they have wisdom. God is like that. What are we asking of him? What are we praying for? How many have been praying for a long time and you've just been waiting for the answer? Well, I tell you, the day of answers is here. All right. Give the Lord a hand of praise. If you're going to do it, do it correctly. Come on. Come on. Give the Lord a shout. Say hallelujah. Say woo. All right. I'll be back at you another time. We're going to have some meetings coming up. But God bless you. Now, some of you don't even know my name, okay? It's Thomas Manton IV. And you can find me on my website, thomasmanton.com. Okay, T-H-O-M-A-S-M-A-N-T-O-N.com. And you'll find all of our social media channels there and all of that. God bless you. All right, we'll talk to you again. God bless you. Can you blow me a kiss? Thank you. Can we blow Jesus one? Oh, Rose of Sharon. He's here tonight.